Welcome to the Know Yourself channel, we're making astrology known and understandable as the number one priority. I'm the Scottish astrologer and in this video I'm going to explain what a dwarf is, okay, in astrology. Now what a dwarf is, is when you break down an individual zodiac sign into 12, two and a half degree subsections, okay, and how this works is, if your sign is, for example, Aries, okay, then you would begin to break that sign down, starting at Aries. If it's Taurus, then you'd begin with Taurus. If it's Gemini, you'd begin with Gemini, okay? And you'd work your way through to the end of the zodiac, okay? But beginning at whatever zodiac sign, uh, let's say your sun is in, okay? So if your sun sign is in Sagittarius, okay? And you want to break that, that part down even further you'd have to begin at Sagittarius that's one way of doing it there is a second way of doing it that is just all signs begin at zero degrees of Aries to two and a half degrees of Aries uh, and then from two and a half degrees it's Taurus to five degrees and from five degrees it's Gemini to seven and a half degrees and from seven and a half degrees it's cancer and so on and so forth each zodiac sign will begin at aries okay like this this is the method that i think is most plausible okay that most works uh compared to the other way where if you're sagittarius it begins at sagittarius like uh i don't see credence in that i see credence in it begins with aries each sign breaking it down into 12 two and a half degree subsections okay so basically what you can do with this what this is for is just getting more information about uh, a sign or where a planet's located for instance if your sun sign is aries okay uh using my preferred method okay where everything begin every sign begins at zero degrees of aries to two and a half degrees then follows through to taurus and so on and so forth using that method okay let's say your sun was located at eight degrees of aries using the method i just explained my preferred method okay then that gives you cancerian qualities as well like we all know that people aren't a hundred percent like their zodiac sign and it's one of many many reasons okay people who know astrology know that but one of the reasons is this and it is usually overlooked uh, so i thought i'd share it another thing it can do is for example you have planets located all over your natal chart so let's say for instance you had saturn and capricorn okay we all know Saturn rules Capricorn, so it's happy there. But depending on what degree of Capricorn Saturn is in, uh, it could be extra happy there. For instance, using the method I've explained, if you had, let's say, Saturn located at 25 degrees of the sign Capricorn, then that would be the beginning of the Aquarius subsection, okay? And as Saturn also rules Aquarius, then Saturn would be extra happy situated here, opposed to it being in a sign it doesn't like being in, okay? Even though it's in rulership in Capricorn, it could be in a subsection where it isn't as at ease as it would be at 25 degrees of that sign, uh, as I've just explained, okay? So... This is a good way of doing it. You could be even smarter still and you could break a 2.5 degree subsection uh, down into three more sections uh, representative of the deacons. Okay, so you just divide 2.5 by three uh, if you want to be even more smarter and break it down even more. Uh, as I said, the preferred version because I've tested this all out, uh, is what I'm saying. Each sign begins at 0 degrees Aries uh, to 2.5 degrees. That's Aries and so on and so forth from there. Uh, if you do it the other way, it, just, it, it doesn't seem to add up. In my opinion, other people might have different opinions of this, but in my opinion, okay, is stick with the technique I'm explaining. Uh, it's much more credence, uh, again, in my opinion. But 
basically breaking it down even further into decans, it's smarter. Uh, and furthermore, this technique is good as you're basically taking a microscope to an eight ultra, okay? Uh, breaking it down uh, minusculely, okay, even further. Uh, it's much better to do this, it gives you a much more accurate reading when you're looking at natal charts uh, using the DWOD, okay? But, so I just thought I'd share this video, share this information with you. Most people will already know about this if you're right into astrology, as I am. Uh, but, again, most people won't know about this, okay? So, for these people, here it is. Okay, so, thanks for watching, guys. Please like this video, please share this video, please subscribe to the channel and please do not forget to hit the bell to the right of the subscribe button, okay? Thanks again guys, take care.